Hello friends, my name is Luke the Gamer Duke. I enjoy playing, dissecting, and talking about video games. Today in Diablo 2 Resurrected, Rune Words! But don't worry, we're not cannonballing down the rabbit hole. Cannonball! Merely peeking in. I'd like this to serve as an early rune word guide for what socketable items to keep an eye out for for each character, when to look for them, and maybe even what to keep while taking newer characters through normal and into nightmare mode. As we all know, it can be difficult to come across great equipment for your specific character on your travels, so I want to briefly outline how to take advantage of the power of rune words even at lower levels. Stick around till the end, I'll have a little tip on how to take advantage of rune management in your stash as well. First, you need some socketed items, which are basically everywhere, from enemy drops to chests to urn kicks. I found all of these just running through the tombs of Talrasha, and these in the latter parts of Act 3, through Act 4, and into Act 5. Fun side note, Act 1 and 2 vendors can sell two or three socketed items you can use to build rune words. Just make sure they are gray, not blue, as blue are magical items, and magical items cannot be built into rune words, only regular items. However, any stats or fixes pre-built into a socketed item will carry over into the rune word build, which is a plus. But when you're finding stuff in the wild, how do you know what to keep? It's so complicated and there's so many options. Maybe, let's try and condense it. With a few exceptions, I'll consider early rune words up to level 29, which contain any combination of these runes up to shale, as it's the highest rune you can technically find in normal mode. The 35 and above rune words contain runes which are much more rare, and unless incredibly lucky, you might not even see until hell mode. Before we dive in, I'm running under a few assumptions here. Firstly is that you have at least one character mostly, if not all the way through Nightmare, or at least two characters through Normal as to provide a decent number of and variety of lower level runes to begin with. Also I suppose I'm assuming you've been keeping your runes. Secondly is that you have not leveled all your characters to the point where early rune words are essentially worthless to you. Also keep in mind the higher you go in rune word levels, the less effective they are in lower end equipment. For example, putting something like level 25's King's Grace into a lower ended sword from Act 2 or level 21 Zephyr into a short bow found in Act 1 might not result well. Also taking a mace or axe with steel from Act 1 or Act 2 into Act 4 thinking you're gonna go slice and dice and probably won't work well either. Everything becomes underleveled at some point. Okay, let's get into this. Straight away, most characters using a melee build can have a field day with rune words. Two sockets, swords, maces, and axes can build steel at level 13. Steel is a great rune word for early melee. Good enhanced damage, open wounds, and plus mana make most Act 1 weapons viable. Just maybe avoid a hand axe or short sword. Three socket melee of any kind can build malice at level 15. Great enhanced damage, 100% open wounds, and minus enemy defense are wonderful affixes. Just try to have something to counter the drain life. Quick tip, while exploring Act 2, if you find a three socket pull arm, put malice in it and give it to the Act 2 mercenary. The Drain Life does not affect the Mercenary, allowing him to dominate everything around him. For melee builds reaching level 25, a two-socket melee of any kind can build Strength, essentially an upgrade from Steel. Great damage, crushing blow, life and mana steel, and plus Strength and Vitality makes this a great rune word to consider. The real bread and butter here though is King's Grace. Finding a three-socket sword or scepter will result in awesomeness. King's Grace not only provides 100% damage, but then another 100% to demons and 50 to undead. Oh, and fire and cold damage. And lifesteal. Three socket swords and scepters are ones to watch for when your character hits level 20s. Assassins are looking for three sockets only, but Qatar type builds pattern, which will destroy everything in front of you. Awesome enhanced damage, all sorts of elemental damage, percent bonus to attack rating, block rate, added stats, and resistances. I would argue finding a 3 socket guitar type from another character might be worth consideration for keeping should you have an assassin in mind in the near future. 4 sockets are a bit different since they cannot be found in normal, only Nightmare and beyond. Even in Nightmare can be rare, but you will happen across them at some point. Are level 20 something rune words worth building post normal? Uh, short answer? Yes. Finding a 4 socket sword, scepter, or pole arm and building any of these rune words can put you in beast mode through most of, if not all, of Nightmare. Holy Thunder's enhanced damage and added elemental damage is ridiculous. You also get great lightning resist and level 7 chain lightning, which will do great damage. 
Spirit runs in the same vein for swords. Plus two to all skills, cast rate, great hit recovery, great elemental damage, life steal, missile defense, plus vitality and insane mana. You might want a higher grade sword for Spirit though since there is no percent enhanced damage. Insight is simply absurd. If you find a four socket polearm, it's a wrap. Provides meditation aura for mana regen, 200% minimum, enhanced damage and attack rating, elemental damage, critical strike, which is a chance for double damage, plus five to attributes and magic find. Again, even if you're not using polearms, the Act 2 mercenary does, and he's been itching for an upgrade. I'll put that to good use. Missile weapons benefit greatly as well. A two, three, or four socket bow or crossbow can result in great affixes. Two sockets build Zephyr, which has enhanced damage, added lightning damage, minus enemy defense, and increases character and attack speed. Three socket missiles build Edge, which grant thorns, enhanced attack speed, massive enhanced damage to demons and undead, poison damage, life and mana steal, and plus to all attributes. Both of these can be great in either bows or crossbows. Four socket missiles found in Nightmare can build Insight as well, which pick up the same affixes and then domination ensues. The Sorceress is limited to one staff in normal, but finding a two socket staff can build Leaf, which has great fire affixes. Also remember, whatever staff you build into will also keep its original character affixes, providing the Sorceress for some awesome early skill potential. Side note, Leaf's plus three to fire skills benefits Druid and Assassin fire skills as well. Insight can also be built into staves, though outside of a couple specifics, most affixes would not benefit casting. Unfortunately, the Necromancer kinda gets left in the dust here. Getting into armor, however, is a bit more nuanced. Two socket helms can build Nadir or Lore. Nadir can be built at level 13 and has decent percent enhanced defense, though negative three to light radius can either hinder or help depending on your playstyle. Lore can be decent for casters. Personally, I think this is overall lacking in comparison to other helms potentially found at this level. Finding three socket helms can build Radiance at level 27, which is magnificent for all characters. Great enhanced defense, plus energy and vitality, plus more to mana, and damage reduction and light radius. Three socket helms are ones to watch out for. Body armor builds, however, might be considered specialized. Two sockets can build stealth at level 17, which can be helpful for characters wanting speed, accuracy, and or mana recovery over defense or potentially plus life. Just be wary there is no percent enhanced defense. Three sockets can build peace. Plus two to skills and hit recovery is good, but at level 29 this might be lacking in comparison to other armor found. Shields, however, are quite a different matter. Lois starts at level 21 and uses three sockets to build Ancient's Pledge which is pretty straightforward, but it's a massive increase to defense and resistances, which is a great selection for any primeval battle or specialized area. At level 29, Rhyme can be built into two socket shields, which has some awesome stats. Great increase to blocking, 25 to resistances, mana regen, cannot be frozen, and 25 magic find. However, again, be wary that there is no percent enhanced defense. Spirit can also be built into four socket shields, however the only four socket shields available are paladin specific, but it is a great build for the paladin. It uses the same affixes but swaps elemental damage for resistances. So now that we've gone over what's good, what's great, and what's not, let's put this in the perspective. Weapons are basically good to go for everyone, except the necro. Melee characters can build something with most any two or three socket weapons from early acts to later acts. But the big daddy of these is King's Grace. Find yourself a three socket sword or scepter, preferably act three grade or higher, and you got it great. Assassins are looking for three sockets only at level 23, but wielding a pair of patterns will completely destroy. Missile weapons must wait until the 20s, but a two, three, or four socket missile rune word can be great for a while. And two sockets building leaf are in for some awesome added fire skills. As far as finding four sockets in Nightmare, you'll be looking for four socket swords, scepters, polearms, or missiles, all of which can build some awesome stuff. Armor was a bit more specialized. Two socket body armor building stealth can be useful for prioritizing speed or mana. Three socket body armor primarily benefits Amazons, maybe not even at that point. 
Two socket helms can be mildly beneficial for everyone, but three socket helms to build radiance is what you really want. Shields, however, are where the real defensive advantages lie. Three socket shields by level 21 for defense and resistances. Two socket shields at level 29 for blocking resistances, mana, and magic find. And four socket shields are paladin specific. Ah yes, that's right. I mentioned something about rune management earlier. So as your characters progress and runes begin to stack, you'll eventually have more runes than you know what to do with. But grab them. Grab them all. And do not sell them. Here's what you do to them. You transmute them up! Aw, oh, but that's so much work and takes so much time. No, it doesn't. It's so easy. Watch. Three runes of one type equal one rune to the level above it. Personally, I try to keep like five or six, then transmute the three up. Just be wary that tears, orts, and towels seem to make more appearances in early rune words than others. And by the time you get to transmuting foals, you'll need to incorporate gems. But if you continue doing this with all your characters in your shared stashes with the number of runes you come across, eventually you'll end up transmuting runes you haven't even discovered yet. And then before you know it, you're transmuting lums, coals, and fowls. And who knows, maybe you'll get so far down the line of transmuting runes, you'll accidentally transmute a burr one day. One final reminder, build whatever you want in whatever you want to. Though, keep in mind, in general, the rune word build threshold for building down in item grade is much smaller than the threshold for building up in item grade. For example, level 15 malice could still work in a pike found in Act 5, but level 29 rhyme might be lacking in a large shield found in Act 2. But explore around, grab some socketed items, build something, use it, then stash it for another character. Rune words are awesome. They're awesome to build and awesome to use. Always keep a few runes of each kind on hand, but unless you're saving for something specific, don't fear them, use them! You'll always come across more. Thanks so much for watching this video, that'll wrap up the small analysis of early rune word builds. I hope this helped, and maybe made rune words seem a bit more digestible to you. If it did, please consider hitting that like button. Remember to subscribe for more fun Diablo 2 and other upcoming gameplay and analytics, and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Did I give something too much credit? Or maybe not enough credit? Let me know. Now get to building and go slay some demons. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.